Not everybody buys a flagship device, so let's mix things up a bit today. What about looking at the original Google Pixel with the Snapdragon 821 and putting it against an Honor Play with the Kirin 970? Which one do you think is going to win? Let's find out. So we have the original Google Pixel, the normally XL version, the smaller version with the Snapdragon 821. On the left hand side, we have the Honor Play with the Kirin 970 on the right hand side. Two very different devices from very different years with very different processors. It's going to be an interesting battle to see here which one comes up front. Will the Snapdragon from uh, 2016, probably announced in 2015, came out in uh, 2016. The 821, of course, a variant of the 820. Is that going to beat the much newer but and at one point a flagship, the Kirin 970 that we find in the Honor Play. Of course, that Honor Play was from 2018. However, the Kirin 970 is older than that. And as I am now looking at the tests, I can see that the uh, Kirin, the Honor Play, is into the compression test, whereas the uh, Pixel is into the JSON test. So how much of a lead is being developed here? Let's see what happens as the uh, Kirin, as the Honor Play goes through that compression. There it is it's now into the 16 thread test so that's quite a big lead as only now we see the uh, Google Pixel go into the compression test now it's interesting because the Kirin 970 is an octa-core processor so it should handle 16 threads got eight cores 16 threads much easier than the Snapdragon 821 which has only got four cores that's one of the big differences between these here is octa-core versus quad-core and already we can see that the uh, Kirin 970 is streaking ahead here with it's now into the mixed CPU GPU part of the test all oh, up comes the 16 thread test this is going to be interesting is that really going to be slow with just a quad core processor how is it going to develop while the kirin 970 is uh, developing its lead it's now into the infinite scrolling list which means it's just the particle test the smoke particle test to go and then it will be into the 3d section of this test so here we are into that smoke particle test while the uh Google Pixel is still churning its way through those 16 threads, that 16 threads of work that it has to do. What's the frame rate going to be here on the right? 10 frames a second, so obviously not the same as what we're seeing in flagship devices. We're seeing 15, 20 frames a second there. But as I said, that is gone now into the uh, Unity test. Now remember, this is full speed test G 2.0, so there are two 3D tests. There's a Unity test and there's an Unreal test. Now. The Snapdragon 821 in the Google Pixel is now into the mix CPU GPU part. But look at this Kirin 970 now. That is jerky and janky, and it's just like it's dying to get these frames out. Look, it's like it's actually there. The frame rate count, if you look in the top right, I'm going to actually register zero. It was, wasn't even managing one frame a second there. Now it is actually on one frame a second, but this is pretty slow now the uh kirin 970 oh look it's got black the black sky this is not the night time this is meant to be in the daytime that's an interesting anomaly there six frames a second for the smoke particle test on the left hand side that's a big difference there between the 10 frames a second we were sawing on the right hand side so it's now into the unity test now the black sky so that's meant to be a blue sky with oh there it is the blue sky has come back and it's kind of picked up the pace a bit hitting two frames a second now as it now heads down to that valley now, this is interesting because we've got the Unreal test to come and the uh, Google Pixel is doing much better. It's at five frames a second. If I can just read that six frames a second, seven frames a second. So it's tearing its way through this unit test. It could actually get to this test and maybe it could actually give, this could be amazing. The Kirin could actually lose at this rate. This is, oh look, we're looking on the Kirin now on the honor plate. It's really struggling through that forest scene. It's not moving very fast at all. And now the Google Pixel has come to the end of the valley. It's now now starting up the unity test the unreal test sorry so now we're both into the unreal test it was unexpected because the kirin 970 and the play has such a lead such a lead over the google pixel and now all that seems to be moving faster through the forest wouldn't this be just an ironic loss here if the google pixel was able to win just at the very end just because of these 3d tests this is going to be interesting i can't believe my eyes it's actually it's sailing its way through this forest scene what's it actually going to be at the end who's going to get there first left or right please who do you think there we go the left on the left Four minutes and 15.8 seconds and the, the honor plate is still going. The clock is still ticking. What's it going to be here on the right hand side? What's the final time going to be? We're just waiting in agony here as it's churning its way a couple of frames a second through that scene. It's, it's come to a complete standstill it looks like. Now there we go. What's the end going to be? Four minutes 34.9. Well there's an unexpected result. 
Okay, let's break down the scores then and see exactly what happened. So as we saw there, a win for the Google Pixel with four minutes, 15.8. Obviously these are much longer times than we're getting from today's modern flagships, but still an interesting win there over the Honor Play, which got four minutes, 34.9. But if you look at the CPU time, you can see a huge difference between the Google Pixel and the Honor Play. The Honor Play streaking ahead there in the CPU, one minute, 21.4 compared to two minutes and seven seconds. So clearly uh, the uh, cores, the octa-core configuration of the Honor Play there, Cortex A73 much, much stronger than the quad-core Snapdragon 821. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, the same story, not as pronounced, but it's 58 seconds on the nose for the Google Pixel, and then 48 0.5 seconds for the Honor Play. So again, another win there by the Honor Play. So at this point, the Honor Play was clearly in the lead by a significant margin. But then we get to the GPU part, the uh, Unity test and the Unreal test, and the tables are completely turned. One minute, 10 seconds for the Google Pixel, and two minutes, 24.9 for the Honor Play, which means that the, all the lead the Honor Play had was completely lost. And that actually ended up with the Google Pixel winning at four minutes, 15.8. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do tell me in the comments below what you thought about this battle between the Pixel and the Honor Play. Okay, don't forget we have a Twitter account, Speed Test Underbar G. That's about it. I'll see you in the next one.